Which my understanding is as the Oakland Raiders prepare for week one, they are not planning as if Antonio Brown will be on the field. They are planning to be without him for the week one opener of the 2019 season. My understanding is the likelihood is that Antonio Brown will be away from the team as he tries to work out some of the issues that have become so prevalent and clear, including his shouting match that he had with general manager Mike Mayock. On Wednesday, where I'm told uh, he threatened Mayock, saying essentially he wanted to hit him. He took a football, punted it, and then said, find me for that. Of course, he was not at practice today, and I'm told not in the Raiders' plans on Monday. What we do not know is, is this going to be a suspension, or is he merely going to be inactive? We are still gathering information. But for those fantasy drafts that are going on right now, and there are some, <coughs> this is important information. Yes. Opening day, yo, what's up, what's up? Opening day of the NFL and start off the season with a bang. So I've been defending Antonio Brown ever since before he left Pittsburgh. I I was fooled. I thought he was, just, you know, acting a fool just to get out of town because he was unhappy and he realized the Steelers had reached their peak as far as their championship window. But this dude might have a problem. <laughs> You know, first the whole helmet saga, then he finally gets his helmet. He refuses to practice, and um, Mike Mayock, who was an NFL analyst, who's now the GM for the Raiders, he ain't taking the bullshit. So, you know, when he said all in or not a couple of weeks ago, that was Antonio Brown's wake-up call. Antonio Brown still wasn't fucking paired it. He wasn't hearing the shit. Um, and then they gave him a fine. They fined him about, what, $54,000 for missing practice and not coming, uh, being selective with his, you know, showing up to training camp. And Antonio goes on Instagram. He's like the most popular athlete on Instagram, Instagram, Snapchat. He's really big into that whole shit. And um, he posts the fine and he's upset about it. So then yesterday, <laughs> according to Adam Scheffner, uh, Antonio Brown and Mike Mayock got into an argument and they had to be separated. Yeah, it's like crazy. <laughs> they had to break it up. And it's crazy because John Gruden, the, the head coach, has done everything. He's done everything to try to be a player's coach guy. And he's done everything to go all out of his way to defend Antonio Brown and baby him in the media and on hard knocks. So it seems like there, this could be possible tension between Gruden and, and Mayock if they don't let Antonio leave or figure this thing out because Mayock is like, fuck that. I'm not laying down for this guy and letting him have his way like they did in Pittsburgh. And Gruden is like, well, he is the best receiver in football. So it's kind of like a tug of war. You know, Gruden would be Antonio's guy, the head coach, but the GM ain't feeling him. You know, and now there's a possibility they're going to suspend him that's definitely coming going into the season. There's no news yet on how long the suspension will be or how many games or whatever. But, you know, they, they're they probably trying to look at a way to avoid that $30 million contract that he just got. So Antonio could possibly be losing some money just for being fucking stupid. And it's a shame. I mean, you would think he would learn from guys like Chad Johnson and T.O. And, you know, but I don't know. You know, he <laughs> Guys who were probably more talented than he was. And Terrell Owens was a monster. And he prematurely had to exit out the league because of his antics. But he makes Terrell Owens look like a, like a schoolboy compared to the shit. I mean, imagine if social media was out back when T.O. and Chad Johnson was popping in the NFL. Who knows what they would have been doing. But I, I can't even defend Antonio no more. <laughs> it's just, he's just, he's a fucking mess, man. And a lot of shit just doesn't make sense. You're going to miss practice over a helmet. I mean, a lot of players didn't like the way the new helmets were. They still showed up to work. They're getting paid. You know, you're the highest paid guy on the roster, and you're not showing up because you didn't like the way they tweaked your new helmet. Like, how does the other guys on the team feel? You know? And it's not, it's not fair to Derek Carr. It's not fair to John Gruden because they put so much of an investment into Antonio Brown. And he's not going to probably be there the first couple of games. He, they might end up trading them somewhere. But who gets most of the blame for this? The Pittsburgh Steelers for allowing him to become this monster. And he's got to take responsibility for most of, most of his actions. Don't get me wrong. But they groomed this monster. 
who was a, a innocent, quiet, humble six round draft pick in 2010. And because he gave them 10, 11 yards, you know, 10, 11 catches a game, 150 yards, whatever, whatever, all these great numbers, they let him get away with it. He's been doing this kind of activity for a while now. It's just in Pittsburgh, they did a really good job of keeping things in house and not letting it spill out to the media up until last year when Ben threw him under the bus in that Denver game and they kind of, uh, that rubbed him the wrong way. And that's when he said, fuck this, I'm out. You know, but in, the thing in Pittsburgh is you had the Hall of Fame quarterback and the respected coach, you know, and then that that culture. They don't have that culture in Oakland. There's Gruden, is he a Hall of Fame coach? I don't think so. And Derek Carr definitely has improved to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. So I don't think Antonio respects the cornerstones of the franchise, and he definitely feels like he's the best player and the best thing smoking in that facility. So... If they couldn't tell him shit in Pittsburgh with everything that they had, you knew the Oakland shit wasn't going to work out. I just hope that, you know, the guy lands somewhere and he probably gets some help. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's, you know, it's his social media addiction. Is, is he have self-worth issues? I don't know. But the dude is crazy, man. I just want to see him play ball because I'm a fan of watching him play. And he practices and works his ass off. You can't question his work ethic, but... Mentally, I mean, he's a fucking nut. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Lee on the lookout for Antonio Brown definitely is going to get suspended and um, probably won't be playing in that first game they got against oh, Denver, I think. Yeah, so I'm disappointed, man. I, I'm officially off the Antonio Brown attorney defense. I can no longer defend this dude, period. He is a fucking nut. <laughs>